So what are you going to do for dinner? Well, I'm supposed to go with my parents to their friends, the Russells, for a vegetarian Thanksgiving. Every year they make this mm. tofu and carrot souffle in the shape of a turkey. It's disgusting. But very politically correct. Very. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I bet your family is having a big, juicy sage rub turkey with uh, that cornbread sausage stuffing that we had at your house for Christmas last year, right? Mm -hmm. Fresh cranberry sauce, oven baked rolls, and pumpkin pie with real fresh whipped cream. We forgot Cindy's world famous bourbon sweet potatoes. <sighs> Sounds great. Stop drooling, Andrea. We eat at six, we watch football all day, come over when you want. Are you sure it's okay with your folks? Andrea, would it be a holiday without a couple of strays at our house? Huh? Great. Come on. I was listening to the ski report in the car, and they're expecting two feet of fresh powder in Big Bear by tomorrow morning. Have fun. Can't believe we're not going. Don't you love to ski? Yes, but I also love the idea of being home alone. Mel and Jackie are going away with the baby to Palm Springs, and I actually get the house to myself. God, Thanksgiving alone. That's like an American or something. Who's spending Thanksgiving alone? Kelly is. No, you're not. You're coming to my house. No, actually, Brent, I'm looking forward to spending some quality time by myself. Oh, no, I need somebody to talk to during all those football games, please. Well, okay, but just because you begged. Hmm. I don't mean to start anything, but do you know where Dylan's spending Thanksgiving? No, I don't, and I really don't care. Ditto. Why don't I believe you guys? How many more of these things I gotta sign? Oh, just one. You are 18, correct? Yep. And this is a working phone number? Yeah. Oh, you don't have call 14 on your line, do you? No, why? Well, I'm going to have to be calling there once in the morning, once at bedtime, to make sure your father's there. With call 40, he could be anywhere, and we'd never know it. We don't have to, like, stay in the house the whole time, do we? No. But if you go anywhere, like a movie or uh, dinner, we'll need receipts. You're going to have to be with him at all times. OK. This is a responsibility, Dylan. You sure you're up to it? No, it's not like I have a lot of choices. But if you don't want to do this, just speak up now. Because your father's very eager to make this visit. You should hear him talk about you. Yeah, I'll bet. You know, the primary reason we permit holiday furloughs like this is to help our population maintain some sort of normalcy, particularly in their family relationships. This relationship wasn't that normal to begin with. Give him a chance. A year or so behind bars can change a man. Dylan. Hey, Jack. Thanks for doing it, kid. It means a lot to me. I don't have any other plans. <laughs> Good luck, Jack. I'll be calling you tonight. Frank, happy Thanksgiving. You too. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on. <laughs> Take care. Okay. 